Dardanelle is more than a place to be. Yes, it certainly is a place. To, it's a close-knit, small community, and you do think about people just like you would your own family. A joyful place to live, it really is. I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade it for anything. Have you heard from Tom this morning? No, I'll probably hear from him around noon. I think he's supposed to come in. I know he'll be here for the game tonight because he wouldn't want to miss homecoming game. And a good morning, everyone. Once again, we get together for some coffee and conversation here on the Spotlight program at River Talk 980 AM and 97.1 FM. I know some of the coffee shops, some of the local uh, churches where people get together. Uh, Tom Cotton is on their mind. I think Tom is uh, very connected to Dardanelle. He's a small town boy, and he'll always he'll always have roots here, uh, just like I did, and once before me. But he's had a lot of rewards, I think, from living on the farm because he knows that there's a responsibility there to take care of your animals, take care of the land. Always glad to welcome Tom Cotton back to the Arkansas River Valley. It's good to see him. Well, it's, it's always great to be home. Home for me is my own bed over in Dardanelle. Tom and Anna live on 2nd Street there in Dardanelle. My dad grew up in Dardanelle, where we live now, a home where I played as a little boy and where he played as a little boy over 50 years ago. Dardanelle helped make me what I am, whether it's my parents, my family there, the teachers and coaches I had growing up. Small community, families are multi-generational in Dardanelle like mine. Hardworking folks, farmers, ranchers. Dardanelle is a community where people really care about each other. You got the best people in the yeah. world. I mean, I love the people. Tom represents all of them. Just good people. It helped teach me the life lessons that I carried with me, not just to Congress, but well before that, to school, and then importantly, into the Army. You left Dardanelle uh, some time ago, but you left it for a good reason. When Tom joined the Army, I was very scared. Of course, I'd been through Vietnam, uh, the Vietnam era when Lynn was in the Army. I remember talking to him all day long and, and actually tried to talk him out of it. At the end of the day, Tom told me, and I've said this before, he said, Dad, I love my country and I want to serve. And I couldn't compete with that, so I said, well, you need to serve, man. The support we received while Tom was deployed was unbelievable. When I was overseas in Iraq and Afghanistan, Dardanelle really supported me a lot, you know, whether it was the school system where my mom worked or my church or just old buddies of mine sending letters, sending care packages, and those not just for me, but for my soldiers as well. I'm just very blessed to live in a community that is so rich uh, and so strong. Well, actually, my great-grandfather bought a farm that's about five miles outside of Darnell that I still farm that, but his, his dad actually helped him, which would have been my great-great-grandfather, and it just went on down from generations, down to my grandfather, to my father, and then my uncle was involved, and I became involved. And of course, now Tom helps him when he can, when he can be here. When I walk out on the farm sometimes, and I put a footprint there that maybe my great-grandfather or my great-great-grandfather had a footprint there, too. It, it, it means a lot to me. Yes, sir. Can I get, it is called Crossroads or something yes, like that? Yes, Let me have about 200 pounds of that. If man, yes, thank you very much. Oh, what? Hello, I'm not. Oh, I know who you are, though, sure. Oh, sorry yeah. about that. Oh, I know, I know your grandkids, <laughs> I know how yeah. smart they are. And everything. Oh, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Um, where is Tom today? Uh, he'll be, he's gonna be here in just a little bit. He, I think around noon, we're gonna try to have lunch together. Oh, he, I think he's doing a great job. I really mean that. Well, thank you. Really I appreciate you saying that. I almost wish I'd raised him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's hard for me to keep up with him, but I didn't know that. He's supposed, we're, he's supposed to be here. We're having a football game over Darnell tonight for our homecoming. He's supposed to be here for that. Good. Important stuff. We need to be here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sports is, is very big in Darnell. Uh, like I said, on Friday night, that's the place to be. On game days, everybody wears their game day t-shirts to school and around the community. I get to announce the football games at home. As long as we've been doing this, it looks like we'd have moved up into college by now, then you think, <laughs> think maybe we've got far, far as we're going to go? <laughs> we have one of the prettiest football fields and, and it, uh, press boxes where you can oversee the town. Sun setting behind Mount Nebo. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really pretty. 
it's a lot it's a lot of fun to be back especially whenever you get a chance to see your old classmates some of whom still live here some of whom have moved to other places in the state and come back for homecoming it's always good to reunite and see what they've done in their lives game nights about everybody if you came to a game on friday night you would see what the community is like i do think our home uh, here in Dardanelle, here in Arkansas, is particularly special. You know, we, we're a small state full of small communities. People grew up just like I did, and there's nothing like being back in your homes and getting back to your roots, reminding yourself of where you came from and what made you who you are. Washington would benefit to have more of Dardanelle hometown values, and I believe that Tom is the kind of person who can take those values to Washington. So many people that look to the past and they say, well, I think America's best days are behind us. And I know you don't feel that's the case. Absolutely not. I think our best days are still ahead of us. Now that takes work on our part. Every generation behind us though has worked to ensure that America's best days will be ahead of us. Sometimes making the tough choices that are necessary to get our economy going again, to get America and Arkansas back to work, to ensure that a future is as bright, as prosperous, as secure as our past has been. We can do that, but it's gonna take a change in Washington. Darnell boys always come home. They always want to come home. He won't forget where he came from at all. I can assure you of that. He'll always be a small town boy, but... Or he'll have to answer tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>